Now, let's check out the Cobia 240cc. Representing the 20 to 26 foot class in the center console category, the Cobia 240cc has an overall length of 23 feet 7 inches, a beam of 8 feet 10 inches, and a max horsepower rating of 300. Built with both fishing features and family comfort in mind, she has a draft of 17 inches, a dead rise of 21.5 degrees, a dry weight of 3,500 pounds, and a fuel capacity of 125 gallons. Now, let's hear more from our hosts, George Labonte and Rick Riles. Buddy, you and I have been around boats for a long time. We've seen lots of changes in boating, you know, and since we've been doing Best Boat together, we've gotten to look at a lot of boats. This setup of forward lounging, fishing in the back, family kind of fishing boat has become very popular. Now, Cobia has answered that problem with the 240. Make the boat plenty fishable. Don't give up the bigger boat features. Let's look at some of the ideas they came up with. The days of leaving the family behind are over. You're exactly right, buddy. Listen, if you took a ride on the Intracoastal or along the beach right now, you're gonna see this layout in a boat all over the place. And the common thing is, you know, either the kids will be up in the front or all the girls will be in the front and all the guys will be in the back. I mean, we've split this boat up into two separate areas. The center panel is removable. You take these cushions out. If you're gonna go fishing offshore, take the cushions out, remove that center panel. You've got access to the bow if you wanna fish around the bow. When you're lounging around on the boat, what do we got? We've got cup holders. We've got built-in speaker pods here if you're listening to the music. Look at the quality of the hardware on here. I mean, you got pop-up stainless cleats, pop-up nav lights, the grab rail. I mean, it's really kind of clean looking quality material. You know, obviously they're always gonna use that space underneath the seats. We've got storage on both sides under the seats and a really large storage box in the center deck. You've got a seat here with an insulated drink box underneath it and this forward opening console door. Part of putting a big boat into a small boat package was making this cooler in the door to where you've got the best of both worlds. It doesn't stop there, Rick. Actually, the design of this entire top really ties together with that. Let's take a look at this console from back here. Okay, you've got a problem. You wanna put 28 foot space inside a 24 foot boat. How do you do it? Uh, that was the mission with this boat. I'm telling you, the first thing you do is you eliminate any wasted real estate. If you ran this tubing like most T-tops do down to the deck, wasted real estate, okay? It's gone. It's sunk into the console to where you've got full access all the way around. You know, by utilizing this design here, what they really did, they needed to make a bigger console. This console with the forward entry here is big enough. There's six feet of headroom in there. You've got a fresh water shower and an electric head inside. You needed that space, but you didn't need the space to eat into the entire fishing area in the boat. You've got a helm face that's big enough for a 16 inch display. And this top, I mean, this thing accommodates a really good sized shade top. We've got storage in the forward and aft right here put stuff away, you've got lights built in, LED courtesy lights, you know, the speakers, I mean, the whole thing, it's all fit in there and it's really smooth looking. Having glove boxes here lets you keep the important stuff within arm's reach all the time. LeBrock seating, this is an option. These things are so comfortable, very cool. You know what, we fit a really cool little helm station in this space too. The batteries for this boat are located in the front. You can open up this hatch and pull your batteries out. They're at deck height, they're right here. And we work some storage into the back of this. Actually, let's move into the cockpit. Take a look back here. Now this helm center, even though we've got room to put the batteries underneath there, we've still got plenty of space for four tackle trays there and two drawers to store your gear here. I mean, and it's really fits into a nice little area. Yeah, you're not giving up any real estate. We still got plenty of cockpit room back here to fish. One of the keys to this boat is the maximum use of space. Talk about using your space here. You've got 232 quart fish boxes insulated in the deck here. They've got pump outs with a macerator too, which is smart. We've also got a 28 gallon live well right here in the transom with that clear lid so you can keep an eye on your baits, watch how well the baits are holding up there. And you know, plenty of fishing space. If you wanna move the party back here, you've got a flip down seat with this removable backrest, which comes out. That turns into two rod holders if you're fishing and you don't need this. The beauty of that is you're right. If they can be rod holders. That seat does not take up one square inch of real estate. You still got a full cockpit, but you're ready for your family when they want to go with you. For a 24 foot boat, you can actually have this boat with two motors or a single. Now you're standing there in that walk through transom door. You can get out on the back there. They've got a hideable ladder that flips down in there. Kids are always going to want to jump in the water. Easy to get in and out of the boat from right there. And a nice little fantail to sit on too, if you're at the sandbar or just chilling out. 
big boat features is what this boat's all about. Cobia has managed to take all the features that you like in a 28 or 30 foot boat and squeeze it down into this 24 foot package. Hey, this Cobia 240, for the guy looking for that in a boat, this is one you definitely want to have a look at.